Hello everyone, this is Ashani with IB Professional School and I'm back with another video on Power BI. So a new feature came back a few months back called parameters in which we could give a field as a value and based on the field selected, the visuals would change. So that really helped us because in one single space, we could show a lot of visuals with using the different fields and no need of creating multiple fields. Now, let's talk about this new thing that has come up is called dynamic slices using parameters. So it is not uh, something that you have to add on from the settings. It's already there if you have added the fields. And what we are going to learn today is a very interesting thing. Using the parameters, what we did in the previous video in Power BI parameters was that if I pick a particular field, my visual would change for that field. So for example, if I pick market, I'm getting market-wise sales. If I have region, I have regions-wise sales. If I have segment, it is changing for segment-wise sales, right? Now, what we want to do or what I've done over here and we're going to learn how to do that is once I've selected the market, if you notice the slicer at the bottom, now this is showing me the items of the field of market. So EMEA, APAC, UC, USCA, these are the market names and that's what is coming in the slicer below. So now if I have picked a market, I'm able to see market-wise sales. Now for a particular market, I want to see this trend. So as soon as I pick one particular market, I'm able to see the trend for that market, right? Now going back, if I am changing this field from market to category, my vision on the top is changing as well as the slicer option changed dynamically. I didn't have to do anything. Automatically it changed. And now in a, let's say, category, if I wanted to see the trend of technology, I'm able to do so. So let's get started and see how we can build such a visual. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, paste and duplicate the same page because I don't want to create these visuals. However, I'll go ahead and delete these two slices and we're going to go to field and from the beginning, I'm going to create the entire slice of it. All right. So from where do we create these parameters that works in slices? We are going to go in the modeling part. Over here, new parameter and then we go to fields. Under fields, then you can give the name to the parameter. I had given the name as field view. And over here, I can pick multiple fields based on which I want to have the sales view. So I pick category. Let's say we pick market and we will pick one more. Let's pick segment. Now, once this is done, automatically it creates a slicer for us in the visual. So now I have got this category, market and segment, field view. And as a result of it, now what I've already done, I'm just going to show it to you. What I've already done in this visual is that I've dropped this field view as a parameter. So I'm going to remove this. And let's say if I only had sales and I had to drop this field view because I cannot at this point, if I go ahead and pick category and put it in my y-axis, it is a static thing. I will only be able to see category. But now I want that, that I do not manually change the fields. The fields are changing as per the selection of the end user. So I'm going to remove this category and go to this parameter called field view. And from here, pick this field and drop it in the y-axis. Right? So this is how we got this particular visual. So if I click on market, I will be able to see market-wise view, segment-wise view, and category-wise view. Now let's talk about how, do we, how did we get the slicer at the bottom, which is dependent on the item that you're picking from the first slicer. 
So what we're going to do is simply copy and paste the slicer and move it at the bottom. Now you will see the issue is if there is a segment, then the segment is selected over there. And when I'm removing the filter, then I'm showing all the fields. But I don't want to look at the name of the field again. I would like to see the value of this field called segment. So how are we going to get that? Very simple. We are going to select the slicer on the right where you have the visualization panel. We are going to click on the drop down. And you will get a choice at the bottom saying show values of selected field, which means that the field I'm selected is segments. Now the segments have certain value under, underneath it. So when I click on show values of selected field, it is now showing me the values that we just consume our corporate and home offices, which lies under segment. And if I click on market, I'm able to see the markets. If I click on category, I'm able to see the category. So this is how we can create a slicer. It is dynamic because it is kind of a, you know, something that we do in Excel called dependent list. So think about it as a dependent list that what values I'm going to get in the slicer at the bottom is dependent on the slicer on the top, the choice that we are making in the slicer on the top. And once I've created this category, what I wanted also to do is now it's kind of a little odd that I'm selecting a category. And when I go ahead and pick one category, my bar chart converts into a single bar. Now, I don't want it to be a single bar. In fact, I don't want any kind of interaction from the slicer to the bar charts. So we are going to remove the interaction. So once I've selected my slicer and I go to format, I see edit interactions on the top left. Once you click on it, the symbols that you see have pop up. I'm going to go ahead and When you click on none, means there is no interaction between these two anymore. And as soon as I remove the interaction, you see all the bars have come up. So now, if I wanted to see the market by sales, I've seen, I see that EMEA is doing well. I would like to see the trend of this market over the period of years. Once I click over here, I'm able to see the trends. So I hope you like this video. And please subscribe to Ivy's YouTube channel for more of such videos. Thank you.